east and seeing if we can get on some red deer, maybe some raw deer, and um, perhaps a fox or two. Um, I've been in Norway for about 12, 12 hours now, flying from Manchester in the UK into Oslo and then up to Mulder, um, which is where I'm about half an hour east of now. Um, we've travelled from an, from our accommodation um, early this morning at about six o'clock um, along the side of a fjord um, and into the into the countryside here. Um, and now we're just waiting for uh, for the animals to start arriving and for the sun to come up. Um, I feel like I haven't really seen Norway yet, um, even though I experience it with me as the sun comes up. And um, I get a look at what I'm sure is going to be a, a beautiful country. I've certainly been impressed so far with the hospitality of the other Bigara Pro team members, Martin and um, Simon. Um, Luca, my son, is here with me as well. Um, he's in another location. Um, and Lewis is also here. Again, he's up a, up a tree stand as well. So yeah, we're all laid out and um, it's approximately seven o'clock in the morning now, and we'll be out here until about ten o'clock, um, unless we unless we get something. So uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out now, and um, I'll check back in when the sun gets a bit higher, so we can have a look at what's around us. But uh, just for a flavour. There's a river at my back. Some some houses in the in the far distance. Those are the lights you can see. And um, yeah, just on the edge of the forest, waiting for the deer and the foxes. Okay, so we have a bit more sunlight now. The sun's not full. was a very, very cold few hours that I spent in the tree stand. Um, so a woodpecker, a bit of other wildlife, but unfortunately no deer and no foxes. So it's um, it's 10 o'clock. 
Norwegian time and um, I'm going to head out now and meet the rest of the pro team guys um, on to the next hunt so it should be exciting and hopefully a little bit warm So starting to come out with the come out the woods now. Oh, sun's coming up too late, it'll keep me warm in the in the high seat which was just about over here somewhere. Um, but yeah, I've got to walk across the clearing here, meet up with Lewis, and then we'll go and meet up with the rest of the guys, so Let's crack on. You can see you're here. It's very, very crunchy underfoot. There's a real ground frost. You can probably just make out here where, where we walked in. So I'm just following my tracks back out. the second half of day one just pulled up to another hunting location in beautiful Norway and we're getting ready for a driven hunt the scenery here is very much like Scotland Lewis was just commenting on that um, and I have to agree it's absolutely magnificent and look at the river there almost frozen
missed the moose, didn't you? <laughs> so we've um, we've just been on the stand, just finished on the stand. Look at the mountains over there, absolutely beautiful. Just finished on the um, stand um, while we were on the driven hunt. Um, talking to the guys, it sounds like there was um, there was quite a quite a few animals that the dog Kira um, flushed out. Uh, they reckon there was a red, although they didn't see it. There was a raw and a couple of uh, moose. Um, they knew for certain that they'd, that they'd um, flushed a cow, a large cow. Um, but what we confirmed, myself and Luca, was that uh, there was actually a, a, a young bull moose um, that Kira had flushed as well. Because um, it came running through our camp. <laughs> now moose aren't on the quarter for this hunt, so um, we had to let let him pass. Um, but it was just uh, just a fantastic experience. First time I've ever seen a moose. Luca was looking the other way though, and the moose was going that quick that he didn't get back back around from the other side of the stand um, to see it. But uh, but yeah, bit of an experience. What a fantastic animal. Anyway, I think we're going to head back to the cabin now, get a fire going, a bit of a log fire going, nice bit of uh, nice bit of whiskey, I think I'm going to have a bit of Johnny Walker double black and a cigar and then I think there's moose burgers and, um, sorry, venison burgers and venison stew on the menu tonight. Uh, and then I think we might be visiting a local Norwegian hunting store. So go and see what things they're selling that might be different from what we have in the UK. Right, catch us in a bit. Day two of the Bigara Pro Hunt, and we're all just getting ourselves ready, getting the kit together, rifle stored in the cars, and then we'll be heading up into the mountains to see what we can find. There's Luca all set up in his little sniper nest. Luca's covering the south perimeter of our stand. He's also covering over to the west. And then I've got a bit of the west to cover as well. And then I'm covering the north through that clearing there. We can also shoot 360, so we can shoot over to the east as well. However, we've got the dog over in the west, southwest actually. So that's where we're expecting the deer to be pushed up from. So we've got some good lanes from which to see them crossing. So let's see how we get on.
Okay, so Luca and me are just leaving stand 14. Um, we turned up at the stand and just as we were getting ourselves sorted out, um, <laughs> we saw a, a row book which is on the quarter. Um, he, I, was, I was literally just getting the, um, the thermal monocular turned on and, and, and running. Um, pointed it up and there he was um, at the top of the clearing 
at about 150 meters and he was in full flight and I tried um I tried calling him try and grab his attention um, but he wasn't having any of it he wasn't stopping so I wouldn't have had a chance to show them a rifle or anything and um, he was off um, yeah so that was the only raw book we saw but then we did have some reports um, from Martin and Al who were with um, the do your dog Kira they were um, they did flushed some raw um, but they never they never came our way um, but then just as we thought there might be some deer coming over because um, we could see on the We Hunt app that Martin and Al were getting very close with Kira the dog. We um, we thought, right, this is it. If, if, if we're going to flush anything, it's now because um, in another five minutes, they'll have passed our standby and they'll be heading up the line towards the other stands. So, um, so we... You know, we were we were all excited and getting ready, and then Lucas said, "Dad, Dad," and I caught his eye. I thought, "Oh, he's seen something. He's seen something. It's going to be a raw buck. We're going to get our first um, first animal." And he's like, "Dad, a moose," and um, and I looked where he was looking, and yeah, a family of moose, a bull, a cow, and with the cow, a young one. So I was like, uh, that was it then, it was like rifles down. Um, I started recording on the thermal. Um, Luke got his, his camera out and started snapping a few photographs. And um, yeah, what, what an amazing experience, just watching them moving through, moving through the forest. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, look, uh, there's Stefan over there. Looks like we're, um, we're starting to catch up with everybody now, coming back from the stands. So um, yeah, catch you guys later and uh, that's that, out. Well that's a wrap. Norway's been absolutely fantastic on the Bagara pro team hunt. Um, but now it's time to head to the airport at Molde. Um, get our flight to Oslo and then um, and then back on to home to the UK. Um, it's been a, just a, an amazing adventure, and the highlight for me and Luca was um, was when we were on one of the driven hunts. We had three moose walk into the camp. The um, the bull, the cow, and the calf. Just fantastic seeing those uh, magnificent um, animals. There's another magnificent animal. That's Kira Martin's Martin's dog, who's been um, tireless running up and down. Um, the forest up and down the, the mountainside, um, flushing out the moose, flushing out the deer. Um, we weren't lucky enough to get on any of the deer this time. Had a few sightings, um, but we could only take bucks. What we saw mostly were does. Um, moose, we'd have, we'd have had a couple of bulls easy, but again, not, not on the quarter for this hunt. Um, but I mean, all, all that's done is whet our appetite for the next time. The main purpose of this um, visit was to do some team building with the, with the other Bigara team, teammates from other countries, as well as to experience some, some different types of hunts and to get some time behind some of the, the various, um, um, rifle offerings from Bigara. I was carrying, um, carbon barreled, um, thumb hole, um, rifle that was new for this year, um, super lightweight. Um, mountain stalking rifle, um, very pointy, very um, handy, so great for off hand shooting, which is what a lot of um, um, Scandinavians do. Um, it's very little, um, what I class as the, the sort of more traditional style, but more traditional for me, which is hunting with sticks. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a fantastic, fantastic rifle for for the purpose. Um, Norway is a, a cold country. This is the furthest north I've ever been. Um, but the, the welcome we've had from Martin and Simon, who were our hosts, um, from the rest of the Bigara Pro team, from the Norwegian people, it's just been, uh, you know, the warmest of welcomes. Um, we spent some time last night, which is our last night, um, with, a, with a family and um, farmers. They put on some, some lovely um, home-cooked food, uh, really traditional um, lamb and sausages and vegetables with some some aquavit on the side just to wash it down with which um yeah nearly blew nearly blew my head off um strong stuff but uh but yeah really lovely warm welcome and nice to nice to just 
experience another culture. Um, I definitely want to come back to Norway now. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, this is this is where we've been staying. Um, so uh, a, a hunting lodge as such, but you know, quite quite a nice one. Quite a nice one. Um, and obviously, you know, you can see over here to the to the mountains and the hills and the frozen lakes. Um, just an amazing experience. So anyway, right, got to go. Everybody's waiting for me. Right, signing off.